fellow adventurers. I'm here at the Sideaway Bridge in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I will get better shots of the bridge later. You'll excuse my reticence to get out of the car, but this is the site of the Cleveland Torso Murders, so I'm not really keen to get out. Um, just because there's actually, not just the Cleveland Torso Murders, but then I believe in the 40s, there were other bodies found here as well. So I'm a little uh, nervous to get out here. Um, but the side of Way Bridge has a really interesting history. So it connected um, the Kinsman neighborhood, which is where I'm currently at, um, to the Jackowo neighborhood across uh, the way there. Uh, the Jackowo was a largely Polish neighborhood. The Kinsman neighborhood was Hungarian. There was a lot of racial tension. Um, this is not the first side of Way Bridge, but a railroad wanted to build some kind of housing system. I, don't, I didn't quite understand some kind of cable housing system. Um, so they tore down the first side of Way Bridge, which was Cleveland's longest wooden bridge. Just a little fact there. Um, and now they have the new side of Way Bridge, which you can see over my shoulder here. Um, I'll try to get... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Finger in the camera. Okay, well, I'll get better shots of it. Uh, so then, in the, I believe it said 40s and 50s, the Kinsman neighborhood that I'm in now actually became a largely African-American neighborhood. Uh, the Jackowo neighborhood remained uh, largely Polish, so white. Um, and the, I hope I'm saying this correctly, Howe riots? H-O-U-G-H riots in the 60s. Um kind of sparked a lot of, uh, or were sparked by a lot of racial tension coming to a head. Um, but black children had used the bridge to get from their neighborhood across the way to the elementary school over there. Uh, however, during the riots, somebody from the white side, sounds about white to me, um, tore the plank, set the bridge on fire, therefore not allowing people from the black side to get over there. Um, and the city of Cleveland, <laughs> in great Ohio tradition, decided to do nothing about it. So uh, later a court case uh, found that Cle the city of Cleveland was partially responsible for segregation in the city because they chose not to rebuild the Sideway Bridge, um, which caused segregation in the schools. The elementary school that the children had been going to was now only accessible by whites. Um, so they redistrict and did some busing and made the schools more integrated. Um, I'm going to briefly, I'm, it's just, I don't know. The torso murder scare me. So uh, I'm going to briefly get some good shots and then I'm going to head out of here. Um, but yeah, sideway bridge. <laughs> 